Last day of this busy ass weekend. It's Monday, let's do this. <laughs> Yes, guys, this weekend was a really, really good weekend, guys. We knew it was coming. We knew it was going to be here. Back to school. Actually, school doesn't start here in my city till Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday, the 18th, the first day. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to get even busier, guys. And then the university, which is right down the street from our school, from our shop, doesn't open up until next week so we have like a double back to school weekend guys next weekend we'll begin a lot of college students university students the kids that didn't get a haircut by thursday are going to want to get it by saturday because they're going to be like oh shoot i didn't get a haircut i need a haircut so that's 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 my thinking i know it's going to be busy again so um it's, it's just it's going to be this next month is, is an incredible weekend an incredible month guys and if you're earning as a barber, guys, trust me, if you're not up, you're not grinding, and you're not there at your, at your job, then you're losing out on money because right now is a time to be there and be earning and getting those big high profits, guys. Trust me when I tell you that. So, headed to the shop. Just started on this Monday's cleanup day. I have to get my cleaning done because last week I didn't, so I'm going to have to do it this week for sure. Rise and grind, everybody. Haircutting time. I love seeing that, guys. I love the smell of barbershop in the morning. I love seeing that, too. Two perfect statements. First appointment's there. He doesn't even know he's not the first. Somebody bypassed him today. He's going to be upset. So today I have so far probably in the nature of maybe eight appointments set up for today for a Monday, which is really good. Um, I got eight appointments set up, but I expect it to be extremely busy, guys. There's probably going to be a lot of walk-ins today because, like I've told you guys, it is, um, turn on the air. For those of you guys who want to be barbershop owners, air, the air conditioning is a big expense during the summer, guys. During these summer times, when it's super hot, you got to have the air on. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. There's no way around it. There's no trying to be cheap and, oh, I'm not going to turn it on today. No, 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 no. Here, this is a barbershop establishment, and, uh, Air needs to be cool in here, guys. In order to work and do a good, good haircut, you need to be in a good environment. That means being air conditioned. If you're working at a barbershop and they don't want to turn on the air, then I don't know what to tell you. I used to work like that. I, when I first started working, I used to work with my uncle. My uncle was that same way. He was a cheap barber. He charged $8 a haircut and never turned on the air. Till I got there. When I got there, I was like, hell no, we're turning on the air uh, deal. There's no way I'm gonna work in this condition like this. And I was an old big out too. I was big and husky and start sweating right away. I used to always tell him like, nah, we're turning that shit on. I'm the one that brought air to his shop. I'm the one that brought cable TV to his shop. At that time, he didn't even have cable in his, in his shop. He refused to pay for cable TV. It was hilarious. But I'm going to get started on this haircut. See what's up, guys. Okay, we've been having such great, great days over here, guys. And uh, today has just been kind of... Uh, it's not too bad. It's Right now it's 12, 1230. And uh, I've done five cuts so far today. Uh, the shop's already clean. Let me show you. I did all my cleaning. Did all my mopping. Cleaned the seats already. Dumped the trash. Stuff that I didn't get a chance... Stuff that I didn't get a chance to do last week, I got it done already today. So it's been a relatively good day as far as that's concerned right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to set up my ipad i'm going to show you guys 
uh, how I order new shop towels, guys. Shop towels is an important thing to have here at the shop, especially if you do hot towel shaves. Uh, your towels need to be clean. They need to be nice. They need to be good order. They don't need to be stained. Uh, if you want my professional opinion, the towels that we have right now, I believe we got them in 2019, which is 2022 already. So that's about three years ago, three years ago on those towels. And you can see my towels are looking kind of brown. These used to be all black. But one thing you notice about them, they're not stained. There's no white stains on them. If you guys ever use towels or bought white towels or, or use shop towels, even for shaves, you'll notice that they'll get stained. They'll get stained very, very easily. That's why when you buy shop towels, I highly recommend that you use, uh, um, when you buy shop towels that you buy, uh, 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 they're called bleach guard towels, bleach guard towels. What that means is that they don't get bleach stains. And how would they get bleach stains, you're asking? Because, of course, you know, we don't use bleach. I don't do color. I don't do bleach here. But when we go wash our towels at the laundry mat, which is next door, um, if the person before you had bleach in their, in their washer, guess what? That little bleach that's in there will stain your, 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 um, it will stain your, your uh, 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 towels and it'll create little tiny stains. And before you have, you have two stains, three stains, four stains, and they get stained up really ugly. So you need to buy a, a bleach, is they're called, I think it's called bleach guard now, bleach guard towels. And, and, and what that does is that if there is any residue or bleach on there, they will not get bleached and they will not turn ugly. They'll stay the same color, they'll stay in the same nice. Uh, that's why my towels now today are mostly brown. Let me show them to you again. I store my towels. They're mostly brown, as you can tell. See how I have them all sorted in here? They look like brown, but you know, when I first got them, they were actually jet black. But like I said, three years later, they've uh, turned a different color. So right now I'm gonna set up my pad. I'm gonna show you guys how I order them, where I order them, and uh, how much I pay for them. Okay, boys and girls, let me go over this towel hub thing I was telling you guys. I'm gonna order some towels. As you guys can see, the, the website that I use is Towel Hub. If you guys wanna buy good quality towels at a good price this is where i i always buy my towels i've been buying them here for years already so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna first go right here and i'm gonna go into my account because i already have an account with them and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna look at my prior year order so my year last time i ordered was on february 4 2019 which is uh three and a half months already guys three and a half years and what I bought, let me see what I bought here. Let me see what my order was. I don't even know exactly. I kind of want to order the same thing, maybe a little bit more. So let me see, we got the same thing. So what we ordered was uh, 20 by 16 by 26, two and a half pound bleached, bleach proof salon towels. And uh, at that time they were 18.95 a dozen for 12 of them. And what I ordered was 12 dozens, and it came out to $256. Now let's order the same towels again, but let's see what the price difference is from now, from three years ago, okay? So let's click on the towels themselves. And here they are now, okay? I already liked you guys on Facebook, so get off that. See, so we got, this is the price of the towels right here. Same ones, still got them in stock. But look at the price difference. Wow, guys. So it went from, what was the last price? 18 something a dozen? Now they are, if I order anywhere from 10 to 19 dozen, they come out to $27 a dozen. That's a big, big difference. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna order 12 dozens again. And this time it comes out to $335. That's the price difference. Last time it was $220. It's almost $100 more than it was three years ago. That's what the inflation is like right now. That's what it's, you know, it's coming down to. But, guys, this is just something that needs to be ordered for my shop. And uh, you'll see. I'm going to order them right now. I'm going to place my order. And then when they come in, when they come in, we'll inspect them, we'll check them out, and I'll show you guys the difference between brand new tiles and the old tiles so that you guys can get an idea. But guys, this is the cost of, of running a business. Just imagine, this is gonna cost me $330, $35 to have uh, uh, some tiles. I'm thinking about actually ordering an extra two dozen more, that way I can really fill up my cabinet. 
But I think I'm just going to start off with a 12 dozen. The 12 dozen seem to have worked the last three years, and I don't think we're any busier than we were back then, so I don't think we need any more towels than we did back then. Um, so I'm going to order these right now and, set, and have them sent here, and then when they come in, we'll inspect them, and I'll show you guys in that video what it's like. But if you guys ever need to order towels, this is the best place to order right here, towelhub.com. All right, guys, I just got back getting my lunch. I wanted to share what I'm having today, guys. Check this out. I'm having some ramen. You guys like ramen? Who likes ramen? Let me know in the comments below who likes ramen. I don't know. Ramen, my wife doesn't like this stuff, so this is kind of like my, my uh, what I call my Monday treat because she will never eat anything like this, so there's no way that she, I could take her to a ramen restaurant or anything like that. So you drop all this inside there. And then you just mix that all up. Let me mix it up and I'll show you guys that. So, this is what it looks like, guys. Ramen. You gotta mix it all up. You're supposed to let it sit for a little bit so that the noodles with the hot broth. Ooh, it looks good, I think. It's lunchtime, boys. There's the egg right there. The egg's the best part. Look at that shit. Mm. It's hard boiled egg, but it's soft on the inside, guys. Super bomb. So I'm going to have this lunch right now, guys. But you guys already know, it's been relatively slow today. I thought it was going to be a lot busier considering school starts right here on, on, on Thursday. But it's all good, guys. Had a really, really good weekend, so I'm not even tripping whatsoever. Uh, let me finish this right here, and then we'll see what's up. Completely dead day, but not the best day either. Not as good as last week. Only got I'm sitting at about seven cuts for the day. Cleaning's done. Everything, but it's pretty much done. I'm still supposed to have two more appointments coming right now, so we'll, this, we'll see if they show up or not. And then we're out of here for the week. This week is over, guys. Ready for second grade, first grade. Right, fellas, that's it for today. This day is over. Uh, it wasn't as good as last week. Shoot, last week I did what did I do? Last week I did like twenty, and this week I barely did. Uh, uh, sh I did seven, seven today. So today wasn't that good of a day, but hey, it's okay. That's how it is, guys. Always gonna be good. You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta show up every single day. Uh, we had a really good weekend. So like I said, at the end of the weekend, it always averages out, guys, and that's what matters. Um, for those of you guys that are trying to own barbershops and trying to get into the barbershop business, guys, this is a channel for you. Here I share what I do every single day just by sharing what's going on here. That's it, guys. That's it. Tomorrow's another week. This week's another week, and uh, we'll try it all over again and see what happens, guys. It's still back to school time, so... You already know, back to school time means a lot of kids. So just be prepared to do all those kids and you guys will be all right. With that being said, you guys have a blessed night. And I'll see you guys next week. Grind on.